Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, is celebrated on January 1st every year. Today, we honor the unique privilege of Mary and her special relationship with God. The precise toll, Mother of God, goes back to at least the 3rd or 4th century. The first day of a new calendar year is also the octave of Christmas. The celebration of the solemnity, therefore, has its an added significance. Mary's motherhood is deeply connected with the celebrations of Christmas and the incarnation of the second person of the Trinity. And this feast highly broadens the Christmas spotlight. From numerous references in the Old Testament, we understand that divine intervention is needed for the birth of a Savior. Mary obediently consented to God's invitation, conveyed by the angel Gabriel. Her question was only how it could happen, given her virginity. The answer the angel gave her was by the power of the Holy Spirit. When Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth, she proclaimed, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? We understand from this passage from the Gospel of Luke that Mary's role as a mother of God gave her a unique position in God's redemptive plan for the fallen humanity. Mary had a choice with regard to becoming the mother of God. She could have dismissed what the angel told her and not cooperating with the divine plan. In fact, nothing seemed to make sense when the news was shared with her. Despite everything, she took all that in faith and said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. As soon as she consented to the plan of God, he worked all things in her favor. God looks at each of us just as he invited Mary to share in the divine plan, to share and continue the mission of God. God will work everything in our favor if we cooperate with him. In the dogmatic constitution of the church, we read, the Blessed Virgin was eternally predestined to be the Mother of God. By decree of divine providence, she served on earth as the loving Mother of the Divine Redeemer, an associate of unique nobility, and the Lord's humble handmaid. She conceived, brought forth, and nourished Christ. Thus, Today's feast is one of great joy for Mary herself as Jesus' mother and for us who owe so much to her total cooperation with God's loving plan for us. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us.